Hello, if you've used the KDE desktop recently, you've probably come across a wonderful little application in the system tray called KDE Connect. And it's a uh, program that connects your phone wirelessly to your computer. It allows you to do uh, several neat manipulations of your computer through your phone, or just to transfer files and photography really quickly and easily. But you can install it in your XFCE desktop in Manjaro very easily. Just go to Add Remove Software, your Paymac Manager, and the program you're interested in is KDE Connect. And there she is. I've already installed it, but it's nothing special. It hangs out in the community repository. So let's click on, take a look at the details. And if you, when you go to install it, you want to make sure you click on dependencies and install the optional dependencies. Otherwise, the program won't run. And there'll be a little button here to, uh, that you press to install those two dependencies. Very easy. They have a nice website and the website tells you what KDE Connect is. It's a project that aims to communicate all your devices. Right now it, it does Android and Blackberry. It will soon support iPhone as well. Very good. So once it's installed on your computer, you also have to install it on your phone. And you simply go to the Play Store and install KDE Connect on your phone. Okay, and you get a pro you get this little uh, setup module here. I've already installed my phone, which is LGE, and once it's paired, then you have a bunch of plugins that you can enable: a battery monitor, multimedia playback, pings, receive notifications, remote file system, run commands, telephone integration, virtual input. Okay, so but the real power is in the phone itself. Let's get out of that. And right now, I'm using my phone, and I can do several neat things from my phone. So I can do remote input, and right now I'm controlling the mouse from my phone. I can even do uh, a middle click. You know, I can do right clicks, left clicks. So that's pretty powerful. I can also use it as a keyboard. Oh, typo. So that's pretty basic. And it could be nice for presentations, for example. And in addition to remote control, I can send files very easily. And I have two ways of sending files. I can use the normal share button on the Android. So if I'm looking at, say, a, my uh, pictures, I can send a picture really easily just by clicking the share button and then choosing KDE Connect as my share device. Or, or I could use the uh, send uh, send files button on the KDE Connect itself from the phone, and it opens up a basic file manager, and I can send anything I want, and it would go to whatever uh, folder I've allocated to receive on my computer. For example, on my computer, I have it set up to receive from my downloads, and I just sent a uh, three gigabyte file, and it went to downloads. And there it is. So that's pretty darn easy and very convenient. And finally, one of the things I can do is uh, sw swap notifications so I can receive notifications. I could also uh, control a multimedia player for my phone. So, for example, I tested it out with VLC and I can control play, fast forward, volume, such or like things like that from the KDE Connect remote control on my phone. How neat is that? Alright, so that's a wonderful little program. I've just scratched the surface of what you can do with KDE Connect. And if you do have an Android or a Blackberry, I suggest you uh, try it out. Thanks for watching.